Hi, everyone. I am back for week nine of my fieldwork experience in a hand therapy clinic. And I'm here to report that this week went well. Um, there were some ups and downs this week. It was uh, more on a uh, personal level. I was being a little too hard on myself this week. And uh, it just kind of culminated to the point where I was just like, you know, I had to have a really good discussion with my supervisor and kind of about how I was feeling because, you know, there was just times where I just felt like I was failing. I felt like I wasn't doing well, uh, especially uh, during one of the evaluations that I did. Um, and it just kind of led to an honest conversation uh, between us. And I think that that was something that was really needed from my end because I think sometimes you don't necessarily share, you know, how you're feeling all the time. At least, you know, I don't. That's not something that I share with people a lot, I guess. But I think that in this situation, a tip for me is that you need to share how you're feeling. You know, you don't need to, not your darkest secrets or anything like that, but you need to share, you know, what you truly are feeling like during this time you know are you do you feel like you're really excelling do you feel like you're struggling in a certain area do you feel like maybe your supervisor could give you more feedback less feedback uh anything like in in those regards i think that it's beneficial to talk to them because they don't know they can't read your mind they don't know unless you talk to them and i feel like after i had that conversation it really opened my eyes to see like you know, things aren't always how I see it. Or, um, you know, maybe she thought that I was feeling better about something that I that I'm actually not. So I think that it's just a good conversation to have, especially when you have those moments where it's like, you know, I, I feel like I'm maybe doing everything. Maybe I do, am doing everything right. But I inside feel like I'm doing everything wrong because you watch someone that's had so much experience. And, you know, you're not going to be at that level and you have to remember that you're not going to be at that level but at this point uh I've been doing a lot of I've been doing most of the evaluations uh that come in I have been you know handling pretty much the whole caseload here and there I um will have some patients more uh in-depth surgical procedures uh my supervisor will handle uh but I'm always observing so that's pretty nice to be able to watch sometimes you just need to be able to watch and understand before you could just jump right in, at least in my regard. And I think that my supervisor and I have a really good understanding in that point of um, of view. But my tip this week is to talk to your supervisor and let them know, you know, what you need and they'll let you know what they need from you. And it's, you want to have that, you want to have that, communication line open because without that you know you might not be getting out of the experience what you could be getting if they don't understand or don't know what you want or what you need so I think that that's been something that we have been doing pretty much the whole time I've been here to really make sure I get what I need I have the opportunity to ask questions and I think that that's the one of the most important parts um, because you're here to learn and I think that that's um, the best part about learning, you know, you get to ask questions and while you're here, while you're in a learning setting, you might as well ask as many questions as you, as you can, or as you want, because you're here to receive that information and gather it like a sponge. So that's my tip for this week and I'll see you next week.